New from 88 Films comes this immense package of Night of the Demon. This 1980s video nasty feels a lot like a regional horror film. We jump into someone recounting a story. They're in hospital. They are telling the tale of what happened to them and their group. And it could be fictionalised, it could be whatever. We have someone telling us the story, whether they're a reliable narrator. Eh doesn't really matter. It's an excuse to get some bigfoot like creature in there and some terrific horror. <laughs> we follow uh, our professor and his group of students who are travelling out to this small town. A small town where there has been lots of sightings of a bigfoot creature. Of course, when they're there, they start to intermingle with the locals trying to figure out the local legends and things that are going on there. Of course, it's all pertinent information leading to war, uh, towards a grander picture of what's going on in this town. And as they delve deeper into the woods, they uncover cults, they uncover a Bigfoot creature, they uncover terror and things that they probably wish they'd never uncovered. And what I like about this movie is the amount of blood and guts that it goes for. It is there all the time and it feels and it probably was inserted after the fact. Um, I've still to watch the extras which I'm going to do and include on this disc as well, uh, this review, we'll talk about some of them later on. But a lot of the time we have characters telling stories which then dissolves into us seeing the actual tale. So they'll be sitting around the campfire and they'll say like, do you know this was the place where those two Girl Scouts were attacked and we will jump to that scene and see a bloody murder. The story will continue, they'll be trekking through the woods and someone will say, hey, isn't this where that biker was attacked? <laughs> and it jumps into that tale and you get to see that bloody attack as well. And it does this multiple times throughout the movies. Uh, throughout the movies. So there's constant bloody sequences all the way throughout this uh, thing. And there's, there's a sense of uh, real urgency to the pace because it could be without these sequences it could be more languid as they're just walking through the woods talking but by inserting these into it it gives you a sense of dread a sense of unrelenting terror in the form of this Bigfoot monster and we get uh, to see that there is a lot of blood and guts to be had within this film No! Let me go! Let me go! But I love the idea of the story, which I thought was going to be as simple as there's a Bigfoot creature uh, ripping off people's appendages and that's what we're going to get for the movie. But there's a little bit more to it. There is a mystery at the heart of this one too. The inclusion of the cult, although it's not really expanded on too much, was a really nice addition as well. And it kind of leads to a lot of what possibly happened in this. Um, we get to meet a character later on that's kind of solemn, that's had a really sad life, that has something to do with a lot of the terror uh, and murders that's going on, that really allows um, a kind of backstory to eke into the story, to make it more grandiose, to make it more thought out uh, and more exciting than I thought. The Bigfoot creature itself, which you see limited, you usually see Bigfoot vision, um, <laughs> which is basically just a red filter on the screen uh, as they jump out and rip arms and other things off of people. It's kind of fun, but the actual creature design and its look is pretty good. You get to see more and more of it as the movie goes on until the finale and a cabin where we get the full on creature effect as he is just beating the crap out of people. Night of the Demon is a really great regional horror movie. It's basically just a low budget um, people group of people in the woods, but they add so much into it in the form of story, which is really what made me sit up and pay attention to this one. By throwing in the cult, by throwing in the local legends, it feels like a precursor to almost uh, Blair Witch that way. They're talking to the people and they're getting all these local legends, which really do lean in to what actually happened. Someone claimed she had a baby. Yes, I heard that. 
illegitimate. But it died at birth. A blessing. You get the, the idea that there is going to be a lot of murders in this one because we have the person at the start telling us the story. The lone survivor. Uh, one of those tropes that I absolutely love in a horror movie and it's just basically counting down till everybody else dies. The almost um, inclusion of additional sequences of brutality just because it keeps the pacing going, because it keeps the movie constantly surprising by throwing in these wonderful sequences of special effects that are hugely entertaining. Night of the Demon is just a cracking movie, one that I sat up, loved and just can't wait to delve into the extras. So let's have a look at the extras and see what this disc has to offer. So this is disc one from Night of the Demon. We're going to go down to the extra features and go in and have a look at what's on disc one. First up, we have Just a Little Green Kid out of Waco, Texas. Interview with producer Jim L. Ball. And this is a 22-minute talking head where he talks about forming his first record company, um, how he began his career getting into financing uh, films. It's interesting. And a fun little anecdote, almost a, a sort of snapshot of his life. Next up, we have The Demon Made Me Do It interview with director James C. Watson, who seems to be sponsored by Budweiser for some reason, uh, talking about his entire career, how he got the job of doing this, how, <laughs> how he was under such wacky constraints as he was only allowed to do one take of every scene. It explains a lot. Next up, we have Eye of the Demon, an interview with cinematographer John Quick, I kind of like this one, it's all talking about how he began from photography, moving up to uh, cinematography, becoming fascinated with it, becoming uh, a subscriber of sight and sound, uh, and kind of growing from there. It's quite a, a sort of fascinating uh, talking head. Next up, Fraternity of Horror, which is the previously unreleased 1964 feature, Jim L. Ball, and shot by John Quick. This is... 67 minutes in length, it's really poor quality and it's a little bit of an oddball um, but it's really nice to have it included on this disc and then we get the trailer at a little over a minute and that's it for disc one, let's dive in to the second disc. Okay so let's go into disc two here and the extra features, first up we have cryptic currency, 18 minutes in length, uh, transgression, aggression in Bigfoot cinema, a video essay by David Coleman author of the Bigfoot filmography and it's all about Bigfoot cinema. Uh, talking about movies with similar plots and how it kind of uh, blew up in the late 70s. Lots of information, uh, well put together and an interesting video essay. Next up we have Tales from the Cryptid, interview with Stephen R. Bissett, co-author of Cryptid Cinema. It's 37 minutes in length talking about a specific genre called cryptozoology, um, which is a term I hadn't really heard before, um, how it started and so it literally works, moving up to Bigfoot movies, um, and uh, again, very uh, informative, 37 minutes. Next up we've got Deconstructing Patty, an interview with William Munns, author of When Roger Met Patty. Now this is all about the, the, the very familiar a Bigfoot video that everybody has seen. It's 23 minutes in length. It delves into costumes and making various costumes, trying to debunk um, why that video can be portrayed as a man in a costume. <laughs> it's an interesting argument. I'm not sure if I 100% buy it. Next up, we have Mondo Bigfoot interview with Lyle Blackburn, author of Bogey Creek Cassette Book. And this is a just under 27 minutes and it basically it draws parallels between actual myths and legends and entertainment in the form of videos and stories. Someone obviously loves and is fascinated by this subgenre and articulates it particularly well and gives lots of information and very uh, many recommendations of other films that I now have to check out. Next up we have Ban the Sadist Videos, which at 53 minutes in length is a kind of older um, 
documentary style all about video nasty culture in the UK and we have banned the sadist videos part 2 kind of follow up at 44 minutes all about video nasties and then last we have my nasty memories an interview with ban the sadist videos director david gregory 28 minutes in length talking again um say looking back at the video nasties his memory of britain in the 80s when this was all kicking off again it's another fun addition as well as that you get a poster within this book and you get a booklet which is even more information it's a stacked release and a must own so there we have it night of the demon Highly recommended. I thought it was terrific. One that I would suggest picking up uh, because of the amount of extras with it. It's just terrific. I really enjoyed the film. I thought it was wonderful um, and definitely something that you should check out. If you're into your video nasty movies, you're into 80s horror, you want something a little bit different, it has some uh, good ideas and a sense of uh, gusto behind the filmmaking, this is one to check out. As always, there is more content up here you can see more of my stuff there is a like button below this camera if you uh, click that you'll stop the bigfoot from coming out and ripping something off me that i desperately need and if you want to support me on patreon or the membership program that would be amazing thanks for watching and i'll see you next time man v film